Hello, my name is Nicole and I'm a member of the Wisconsin Poor People's Campaign. For a long time, I thought the injustices that the Poor People's Campaign was fighting against had little to do with me because I didn't see how I could personally be experiencing poverty. And it is true, right now I am not among the majority of Americans who are one emergency away from financial ruin. But many of the people that I care about deeply are in that situation and what hurts them hurts me. Today, I believe that we all live in a system designed to concentrate wealth and power in the hands of the few and basically sees the majority of people as resources to be exploited. It allows some people just enough comfort to be complacent, but never lets up on the pressure to scramble for more. While I've felt that pressure my whole life, coming to this understanding has been the evolution of years for me. Even when I saw an injustice, if I bothered to do anything about it, I would do it as charity. I would put myself on the side of the benevolent, benevolent helper of those less fortunate, and I was too prideful to think that such hardships would ever happen to me. I spent so much time, effort, and resources trying to put bandages on the damage caused by the system, never realizing that I was just the buffer between the poor and those in power. So one example that really illustrates this was when I volunteered with the jail library group at the university where I got my graduate degree. This group does amazing humanitarian work bringing recreational reading materials to the people incarcerated in the county jails and helping them record stories for their kids to keep them connected to their families while they're incarcerated. It's completely staffed by volunteers and stocked with donations. So I volunteered with this group while I was in school and then for more than a decade after that, I regularly went into the jail facilities and I started to learn about who was incarcerated and why the difference between prison and jail and why it is practically impossible to escape the system once you've been in it. And it became crystal clear that systemic racism and poverty was resulting in disproportionate rates of incarceration for poor people, immigrants, and people of color in my community. I learned about how hard it was to get access to legal information, education, recreation, support groups, health care, and spiritual care when you're incarcerated. So many services in jail were run by volunteers, and volunteer access could be revoked or services limited at any time for any reason. So when the jail library group needed books and money, Soliciting donations or fundraising with a bake sale was our best answer. Meanwhile, because of the war economy, our public safety budgets grew the fastest in any part of city or county government, largely due to the federal funding for the war on drugs and increasing militarization of our police departments. A tiny fraction of those funds would have staffed and stocked an excellent library for the jails. And yet it took me years before I asked why we needed to put so many people in jail at all. But then after a series of life-changing events, my own mental health crisis and the consequences of my alcohol addiction, I found myself briefly on the other side of the bars. The illusion that I was separate from others or somehow outside the system was irrevocably ripped away. And yet, because of my social position, I was less harshly impacted by those consequences and I had ample support to find long-term recovery. Looking back now, I'm kind of ashamed that it took me so long to wake up to the fact that we are all subject to the inhumane rules of this system. I'm so grateful to the people who taught me to look upstream for the causes of the problems that I was trying to fight alone. <laughs> I'm very grateful to the people who saw my humanity and treated me with dignity, not just charity, when my life was falling apart. After those experiences, I can no longer be content to put all my effort into band-aids for a broken system. I take part in the Poor People's Campaign because I believe it is a very good place to join with others in the fight against these interlocking injustices and because it's rooted in a commitment to morality that asserts everyone's right to live with dignity. Together is the only way forward, not one step back. <laughs>